In this video, we're going to be talking about increasing, decreasing, and constant functions. And then we're going to determine if the open intervals on which each function is increasing in a few examples. So the more you know about the graph of a function, the more you know about the function itself. So take a look here at this picture we've got. Moving from left to right, this is very important, so moving from left to right, left to right, we notice that this graph falls, right, it falls from x equals negative 2, right, it's falling from x equals negative 2 to 0, right, that's when x is 0 is right there, right, and then it's constant, meaning there's no change, from 0 to 2, and then it's going to increase, let's move up, from 2 to 4. Now a function is increasing on an interval when for any x1 and x2 in the interval, your x1 is smaller than your x2. So notice here that 2, which was our x1, is smaller than 4, which is our x2. Therefore, our function is increasing. Now, decreasing on an interval from any x1 to x2 means that your x1 is going to be technically, so if your x1 is smaller than your x2, that means that your function is going to be decreasing. It implies that the function is greater, okay? So here we notice that negative 2 is smaller than zero. So this is like our x1 and this is our x2. So notice that it's still smaller. Okay. But here our function is decreasing because the value here is larger than let's say the value here or even here. Okay. And lastly, a function is constant on an interval when for any x1 to x2 that y value, that f of x value is the same. So here's our x1 and here's our x2, remember that 0. Notice that this value doesn't change. It is the same as a slope of 0, right? It doesn't change. It's consistent. It has the same value. So it was a 1 for here and it was a 1 for there. Okay? So that means constant. So let's go ahead and let's move on to some examples where we're going to determine if the open intervals on which each function is increasing. In fact, why don't we pro practice not just increasing, but let's also practice finding decreasing and any intervals that are constant. So for each function here, we're going to be looking for increasing, decreasing, and constant. So if we take a look here at our first graph, we see that as it moves, right, we come through. Now, although it might appear that there's an interval in which the function is constant right there, you can actually see that if you were to zoom in, that this value would still be smaller than this value and this value and this value as it's moving, right? And so that's going to imply that it's increasing over the entire real number line. So the entire real number line. And we actually don't have any decreasing and no constants on this one. Let's take a look at our second graph. So here we can see that our function is increasing on the interval from negative infinity up to this point right here, which is negative 1. And then it's going to decrease from negative 1 to 1. But then it's going to increase again from 1 to positive infinity. So there's positive infinity and there's negative infinity. So we're going to write, it's going to be increasing from negative infinity 
to negative 1 and from 1 to infinity and it's going to be decreasing in between negative 1 and 1 and we have no constants here. Let's take a look at our third graph. Here we see that we are increasing from negative infinity to 0 then we're seeing constant from 0 to 2 and then we're decreasing from 2 to positive infinity. Because remember, as we go this way, that's where it's positive infinity, and this way is negative infinity. So for increasing, we're going to say from negative infinity to 0, we're constant from 0 to 2, and then we're decreasing from 2 to infinity.